my name is Dean Laverne, and uh, I'm from the I Media course of uh, 2008. And I'm Ben from the same course, Ben Martin. And uh, this is our project, it's called Touchy, and it's a touch screen interface for teaching children language. And uh, we did this because we were interested in trying to use technology and use it for, uh, use it for children with uh, kind of language learning disabilities. Um, um, well, not really, it's just that uh, the technology behind it is kind of the, where the bulk of the work lies. You know, what you see here is just the end product, like, you know, with just that most of the work went into everything that's behind the screen and what you're actually seeing on the screen. So in, in the, uh, the design of it was we had met with uh, speech therapists and talked about ideas for, a, for an interface and what would be a good idea and what wouldn't be a good idea. And we decided that the touchscreen interface would probably be the best one to use to, to teach uh, and use a game on it. And we also designed the game with the help of the speech therapists as well. So um, it's pretty much a theory founded on it. The game is theory founded. So it reads really touch and it tells you the name of the objects in Rock. the table, rubbish thing. And then you go on to the next task. And this is the dragon dog in the Look what's on the table. Can you put everything back into its place? First, put the cup into the cup. So when you select the cup, it should drag. You can drag it over into the cupboard. Put the bowl into the cup. And put the glass into the cupboard as well. Well done! You can all get down the way. And uh, next it's basically the touchscreen works on these three, these th points here. These are all uh, infrared illuminators and they shine on the screen here. And we have an Xbox 360 webcam which we just packed to take out the infrared filter and basically I put an infrared filter into it, and when you touch the screen, it picks up your fingers as infrared blobs, and that translates into the software on this computer just here, and that, could, that acts as a point for translating where, where you touch on the screen to actually actions on the game itself. The game is built in Action Script in Flash, and uh, it's, it's comprehensive enough, but it basically uses the same functions over and over again to to allow just for it to cut down and you want to code you have to write and stuff for it. It's, it's been and that's pretty much a technical explanation. If you go through all the games, at the end of the whole, uh, no, there's a game, the, the bubble wrap game, it's which is just for fun for the children. This chase is just been pretty much picked up where your fingers are and it just drags. Try again. Try again. Now put the milk into the fridge. And finally, put the eggs into the fridge as well. There's just one more game, and then once well you finish that game, food. you get to play a bubble wrap game as well, which is kind of fun. The next one, <laughs> Oops, the table is really messy. Can you help me to tidy up? First, put all the cutlery in the drawer. Try again. Try again. Good job! Try again. If you choose Try the again. Try again. Try again. Try again. Good job! Try again. 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 Yay! Put all the dead in the cupboard. Yes! Yes! And Put the all the food into the fridge. Well done! Well done! Well done! Well done! Well done. Some Put all the rubbish into the fridge. Good work! And Good once work. the child's completed these tasks in this, this room, they can... The next one is... ...the biggest one game that